Hello, my name is Mark Swan. I'm the executive director of Preble Street. And first, let me say I hope you and yours are all safe and sound and healthy. And secondly, let me thank everybody who has supported us during the COVID-19 public health crisis. It's really hard for me to believe that it was just a little over a month ago, we were deep into our long-term plans for this agency. We we're working on opening a new women's shelter, creating a healing center for survivors of human trafficking, and consolidating and improving the services we offer for homeless and runaway teens. We had a lot going on, some great vision for the future, but then the world changed for us, for you, for everybody. We had to pause and we've had to pivot very, very quickly uh, in response to the pandemic. Our food programs are busier than ever. This past month in March, we served more people than we've served in the history of this agency through our food programs. Over 68,000 meals were served and distributed from Preble Street. To put that in context, when I started here, uh, granted it was a long time ago, but in 1991, we served 100,000 meals in that entire year. Our uh, one soup kitchen at the Resource Center serves over 1,000 meals a day. We went to a good to-go model uh, to provide these meals, um, to disperse crowds and to spread people out and to practice good physical distancing. We're distributing meals through other shelters at the city's Oxford Street Shelter and the temporary shelter at the Expo, as well as at the YMCA and several sober houses uh, as well. We've also, we've been running a food pantry out of the Resource Center for 25 years and served about 140 families each week with an emergency grocery box. Again, in an effort to disperse crowds, as well as to help more people who are hurting financially, we started to do a daily food pantry seven days a week about a month ago, and we're serving about 90 families a day through that um, food pantry as well. So a lot going on. All our essential services are still up and running and serving the community. That includes the Joe Chrysler Teen Shelter, uh, our Teen Center, the Florence House Women's Shelter, also, our three Housing First programs are up and running. Case management and housing support services are all working remotely. And in addition to that, we have now opened a new shelter, a temporary shelter, with great partners at the state, DHHS and Maine Housing, and with the university system, we've opened a new wellness shelter at the USM Sullivan Gym. It's a 24-7 shelter for 50 people. It's for people who are who are well, who are not sick. The point is to spread people out and to provide good social distancing to stop the spread of the coronavirus. It's open 24 seven, meals are provided, services are on site. To do that, we had to hire up. We fired 25 new employees just in the last few weeks. We've also reassigned several veteran social work staff from different programs of the agency to work at the new wellness shelter. I can't say enough about the staff here, how hard they've worked. To thank them, we've instituted a 50% pay increase for all staff who are working at essential services. None of this could be done without support from the community, people like you. We have had a lot of support from various individuals and families and organizations. And again, we, we really want to thank them. If you can help us with a financial donation, it would help tremendously. Every dollar donated, it has a buying power of seven pounds of food. We also have to pay our staff. We have to buy supplies. Uh, we have to keep our lights on. And we're, we've opened a new shelter. A lot going on. We appreciate your support now more than ever. The people we serve, they really need to know that we're here for them, that we're gonna provide services for them, that we care for them, and that we love them. So thank you very much.